With inflation at a 39-year high, Americans are feeling the pinch in just about every facet of daily life. The Consumer Price Index jumped 7% from a year earlier in December, the fastest pace since 1982, as prices surged for staples such as food and gasoline, as well as new and used cars, rent and hotel rates care, the Labor Department said Friday. There's been plenty of finger-pointing from both sides of the political aisle about who's responsible for the spiraling costs, but as usual with issues that have such a broad impact, the causes are complex. President Joe Biden acknowledged recently that inflation hurts Americans' pocketbooks, and reversing this trend is a top priority for me. But he said his $1 trillion infrastructure package, including spending on roads, bridges and ports, would help ease supply bottlenecks. Here's a quick breakdown of how we got here and some of the strategies that might help reverse the trend There are myriad reasons for the higher grocery bills, including the same labor shortages, supply chain bottlenecks and strong consumer demand that have driven up the cost of other goods and survey. Tossing the wild cards plaguing the food industry, extreme weather, particularly heat and drought that have curtailed crop yields, a surge in exports. COVID-19 outbreaks at meat packing plants, volatile consumer eating patterns amid the ups and downs of the health crisis. Meanwhile, dire worker shortages, particularly at restaurants, have pushed up wages and the cost of dining out. There are still fewer factory, warehouse and port workers as parents care for distance learning children or stay home because of COVID-19 fears. Fuel costs have soared. Dozens of container ships are stuck in the waters near the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach, California, waiting to unload cargo. The cost to lease a shipping container for a delivery from China has increased nearly tenfold to $20. Oh, oh, oh. Cars are one of the leading culprits. Also behind the spy car items such as hotel rates and airline fares which plunged last year in the early days of the pandemic and rose sharply from those lows this year as consumer demand returned amid the reopening economy. Supply chain bottlenecks, with COVID-19-related worker absences at factories and ports still high, are also leading to low supplies and higher prices for consumer electronics, appliances and many other products. The crunch comes on top of a semiconductor shortage and parts supply disruptions that have meant low inventories and higher prices for cars. The average sales price of a new vehicle was expected to hit a record $45,743 in September, breaking the old record of $44,515 set in November, J.D. Power said.